So, uh, starting from just some sort of clinching maneuver, okay? And then working uh, on the fear reaction cycle, okay? So I'm gonna shove him, and the untrained mind will push back on me, okay? He doesn't wanna be shoved, so uh, go, boom, he enters, and I'll take it. He needs to push it on me. That, I'm looking for that. So, again, I'm here. I push, he pushes, I go in, boom. Trigger, boom, in, boom. Make sure that you don't stop and then you do your key line. Set up the reaction, boom, boom, in. Okay, so he's gonna do that same strategy. Okay, so he pushes, and rather than me uh, resisting, I take him into the kazushi into the kazushi pattern. Okay, so he goes to push, and I'm gonna start to turn. He goes to push, and I start to turn. So when push. Ten come. He goes to push, start to come. You can see, or you won't find the uh, push nugget. Try it. Push hard. See? It's not there. So neutralize this energy. Go. Boom. Start to turn. Boom. Boom. Okay? Okay, so uh, struggle is me yawning against his yawning. It's me being reactionary to him. That, that's what you're seeing here. It's this stuff. And struggling harder, so he struggles harder, so I do the yield, push please. So I do the yield is a strategy amongst the unawakened. What we're doing now is I am, I'm very, why, why am I not relaxed? I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Nothing's happening. It's no difference than if he has me inside control. It's very tight. There's nothing to do. Just relax. Don't, don't shove on him. Just wait. Just relax. He has to move sooner or later as he tries to do something. So that's where my space is. Go. So struggle happens internally first as an unawakened state, as a reactionary state, as being bonded to the fear cycle, the fear reaction cycle. So as we go here, and he goes to do the strategy. This is what happens as I'm unawakened. I push back on him. I stop him doing what he's doing. And that's what sets up his koshinari. Whoom, I'm in. What we're doing in Aikido is as he moves, I don't brace. He moves and I move. Or better said, he moves me, or better said, it just moves. So he's going to try very hard to trigger me. That's what I don't want to do. He goes to trigger me, and I'm moving. I'm letting him move. He goes, move. And then as I become more relaxed, I become more sensitive. So. He goes, and you can feel when he's going to go. Here, boom, he's in. So instead of here, you, whoa, he got me, and then I try to turn. He goes through. So he falls into 
go. Not that is which, what he expects, but he falls into nothing. And again, I'm disconnected. He goes. So treat it as an emotional drill. It's not any different than going, you look stupid with that haircut. It, it, he has no reaction. Just here, there's no reaction. He goes, he's always going to just fall in the air. I release myself from that fear reaction cycle. Can you feel that? Okay, the external, or let's put it this way, the way that is dependent upon the external is not the way. So uh, if he, come, he comes to get me and I'm like, don't struggle, don't struggle. I am struggling. Internally, I'm struggling. Because I'm dependent upon not engaging. The way is internal. I don't have to be struggling if I'm in the clinch, if he's pushing on me. Just like you may experience pain, but suffering is optional. It's the same thing here. Struggling is an internal thing. Contesting is an internal thing. It's not a thing that is resolved externally. Okay? So, with this in mind, we'll go back to the elbow pass. Okay? So, we're going to go slow first. He goes to push. I start to turn, and I take this here. Let's open it up a little. So he goes a little slower. I absorbing, start the turn, relax, and I have it right there. So I'm gonna open it up and first show the body. You're fine, okay? So his body goes, and I'm absorbing, start the turn, and I'm starting to disarm the elbow by bringing it inside. As I disarming the elbow, my head is going to open his fingers. He goes, boom, and body clears. When I have my arm in place, we're here, I have my arm here, it's not shoving this down. It's just sticking to him. One, two, three. There it is. Back in place. Boom. This is irrelevant to what I want. So, one, two, there. Into the technique. Don't let yourself panic here and do some sort of <clears throat> force move. Reconcile it. One, two, boom, in the thing. Soft, he pushes, disappear. Boom. This is different, go. Different. Very soft. Okay, so uh, you're going, go, and you're here, and it's stuck, and then you gotta have this apparently overly complicated move. Okay, he's trying his push-pull strategy. Whoa! And I do my heel. Boom! He's in it.
It's not complicated. Oops, well. First, I have to make sure I'm not contesting. Every time I contest, I slow myself down and I generate friction. Yang on yang generates friction. So he goes and I yield and I let him fall into the technique. So watch this hand. This hand, no, don't grab it. Stick to it a little slower. Here he goes, I'm matching him. Boom, turn. That's where it was, that's where it stays. Then bring your other arm to that arm. Don't go here and look. Boom, right there. This hand now. Take this off. This hand he goes. Body is moving. Boom, catch. Right here. So my body is throwing it, boom, right to the other hand. Just like I was going to throw a ball to that hand. Boom, right there. Then I combine the two, slower please. Boom. Boom, to there, to here. Here we go. Then don't tighten anything until you can tighten it. It's in place with that. Sometimes it's not exactly perfect. You still have the dynamics. Boom, boom. Keep it, and you'll find it. This hand didn't close. It's still doing what it needs to do. You'll find it in the technique. Boom, boom. Then it'll close. But if you open it up, he goes. No, it's not gonna happen. You're going around his energy. Boom, boom. by accepting his energy. Okay, so again, we're gonna do the elbow pass. He goes, I start the fight turning. I'm gonna grab here. So let's op open it up again. This hand goes right to there. So last time I passed it there. This time I'm gonna pass it out here. Same, same pass though. Boom. Boom. And grab, and I'm in. Boom. Again, not here. <clears throat> Disappear. Out. Use what you have. So as you go, elbow pass. You see, Shiro Nagi is here. Even though the shoulder grabs the throw. You can add to it with the elbow too. Okay, so we started the 
this with, uh, with uh, push triggering, right? So we learn a more enlightened way of moving. So we, uh, I don't push against his push, okay? So in this technique, I'm going to use that same strategy against him. So he goes, and I deviate, boom, and I'm going to push. And he's going to do what? Yes, you see? He's going to push back into me. It's when he pushes back into me that it goes over and into the technique. Shihonage requires a guy to open back into the technique. It's not a, not a guy standing there. Um, he, he's trying to go back that way. So we're here. Boom. DDA, push, brush, and pass it And I'm in the technique. Again, all of you, except one or two, will be triggered. So I go here and shove them in. You guys will respond back, and then you can use that to train you, okay? So, boom, boom, boom. Find the technique, okay?